Hey guys, it's Meme and welcome to part two of our album. And let me show you what we've got done so far, just as a reminder. We have covered pretty much everything. Um, we have installed one of our folios. It is here in this awesome. And we'll do a final walkthrough in the end. I don't want to have to, you know, maneuver this all over the desk for you to see it. But here's what we're doing today. We are going to install the other two pieces and probably finish this guy, probably finish the whole album. I have done a little prep work and I'll tell you why. This is the waterfall we built earlier. I went ahead and glued some pictures in. And the reason I did is because that just gets kind of monotonous. You guys know what to do there. Pick the photos you want to put where and go ahead and put those in where they go, right? Now this guy is ready to get glued in here. Now I did not do my closure yet. I wanted to make sure I showed you um, this part because I think I'm going to use some pieces to make it cute. So let me pull out what I'm going to use and we'll talk that through breaking in here to ask you to hit that red subscribe button. It's free. Also hit the bell button beside it. You can help me reach my big goal this year of 400,000 subscribers. Okay, back to crafting. So you guys know I pulled out all the ephemera. I'm using everything in this book except the rub-ons, and there are rub-ons for this, and the only reason I'm not using these is because we sold out of these super quick, and I didn't want to bring something that you couldn't get, okay? So these things were still available when we started. So these are available in store. These are Avesta laser cut elements. What I love about these is they are pre-cut for you. I think I want to use this piece of ribbon here. I'm not sure. I'm just going to go ahead and take it out because if I don't use it here, I'll use it somewhere. So there's just little like um, connection points that you have to kind of pull those apart from. So there's the ribbon. I'm going to pull out this little bow because it definitely needs it. I love that these are pre-cut. I don't have to pull my scissors out at all. Then I'm really liking these big flowers. I think I'm going to pull out this one and maybe some of the greenery, some of these like sprigs. I think they might be pretty. I don't really know. I'm just gonna pull some out and lay them around and see what we get. So I'm feeling like this is kind of the layout that I'm thinking. I pulled out some pieces. This piece actually came from the ephemera pack. I pulled these pieces out. I think they're really cute and they're gonna live here. This will be what opens the book. Now this may be a little bit much. It may be, I don't know, but I really like how it turned out when I laid it around. So we'll see what happens. Now for this little guy right here, I don't really care for the ribbon just kind of loosely hanging off of here. So I think what I'm going to do is just put it on here and cut it off, like cut the edges off. So let's do that. And I think I'll just go from one end. Let's go from this end. There's a method to my madness, but that one may not be the method I need. There we go. I want to make sure that where these ribbons come together is on the far left side of the card. So when I put that bow down, it makes sense. If that makes sense, we'll see. It'll make sense when I show you here. All right, so what I want to do is glue the loose end down here, okay? And you see how that gets thinner here? That will make sense for me to put my bow on it because it gets thinner there. And then this part I'm going to cut away. And these pieces I cut off are not trash. These can be used somewhere else too because they're just little ribbon pieces. So you want to hold on to those. Let's go ahead and put our bow down here just because I know it's going here. All right, now I want to put these leaves and this flower. At first I had the smaller leaves. See, I don't know how well that's gonna hold up hanging off like that. I want it to hang off because I want it to feel organic, but I'm not sure how well they will hold up hold up just hanging. I think I'm gonna go for it. You, pro you may not wanna do this, and I might find a better way to lay it. Let's just see. Gosh, I think those are pretty like that too. You could use both sides of these. I won't use this side because it blends in too much, but you could totally just use this green side and not have to have all of the vines and things. That's pretty. See how I put that glue up there after I said it's gonna hang off? But I think maybe I'm gonna try to get it. Gosh, I didn't realize I cannot do that. Hmm. I have messed that one up. Let me let me let me put something on there to hide that glue or either clean that glue off. All right, so you're going to have to pay attention to that since I didn't. <laughs> don't put glue where you don't want it. So I just wiped the glue off of that leaf. Now I'm going to attach the other leaves down and not that one. That one's going to hang free up there. I can glue it a little bit, so I'm going to go back and stick some under there. Maybe I should have laid it and then just lifted it and placed it, huh? Let's put a little under there so it'll stay kind of in place there. All right, and then let's look at how our rose is going to lay. I want my rose something like this. And I kind of thought about popping it up on foam. Let's do that. I'm going to add a little glue because this is going to get some use over time. So put a little bit there and place this guy down. 
If I feel a little scattered in this video today, I kind of am. We are in the process of doing all of the kits for birthday bash, and I'm taking breaks to come in and film um, from doing that. So I get myself in one mindset, and then I come in here and start working on another one, and it takes me a minute to kind of get in my groove, but I do eventually. All right, so let's put this little guy in like so. And again, I want to glue down as much as I can to our little postcard here because I want it to be as sturdy as it can be. So I've got a little glue hanging off, but that'll dry in just a second. All right, and then I want to use this beautiful moments, but I think I want to glue this guy onto here first um, so that this will kind of lay over both. So let's do that. Now, something I discovered a minute ago, this fabric tape soaks up your glue. So look how much I'm using here. I'm using a lot more than I normally would, but that is because it soaks it up. I'm also going to make sure I get glue out to the edges here because I want this to stay on. So I'm going to get some out there onto the cardstock edges. And I think what I'll do is just take a piece of scrap. Matter of fact, you know what I'll use? I'll use this um, cover from the ephemera and slide it under here so I don't get glue everywhere. And now we can glue this down safely. So let's see where I'm going to put it first. All right, I've got glue in a good spot. So let's go like that and glue this guy down. And like I said, I used a lot of glue because I noticed that the um, fabric glue will soak up our liquid glue or the fabric tape will soak up our liquid glue. So you have to use a little more so it can get into the fibers of the, of the tape. Look, isn't that going to be cool to be our um, magnet there? Okay, so now that I have this open, you see this part in the back? I know you don't love that. You don't want that to show because it looks unfinished. So I'm just going to measure this little card, and it is four and three eighths by three and almost a quarter. And so what I'm going to do is take a piece of my um, cardstock that I have left over, and I'm going to cut a piece that size. So I think I'm going to go right here and go four and three eighths. So I'm going to open this arm up. Four and three eighths, and then by three and a quarter. I think it'd be pretty to have this um, flower showing. And then I'm gonna sandwich that. But before we sandwich it, we need to put our magnet in. So this will live something like this to kind of close that in. I think I need to trim it down a little bit because I was measuring a little bit, a little big. So I need to trim it down a tiny bit more, just like a sliver off each side. Let's try it here. I'll just take like an eighth of an inch off of each, um, off of two sides and see how that goes. See if that got closer. Yes, that's better. I would rather have a little bit of the front show in here than have this showing on the front, if that makes sense. All right, let's put our magnet in. So for the magnet, I have these two here. I um, don't know which set this came out of. I think it came out of the same set, but I have them left over and I wanna use them. So here's what I'm gonna do. I'm going to marry them up. Just let them marry, so they did, okay? Then we need some sticky tape. So I'm just going to put some sticky tape on both sides here. And this is just really to hold it in place while we work because we're going to sandwich it inside of those pieces and that will keep it permanently down. But we just want to be able to place it. So get that off of my finger. There we go. <laughs> and now I'm going to peel this back and reveal our sticky. There we go. All right, and I'm going to place it. Now I want it to be kind of out here, more out here than over here, I think. So I'm going to go like that and place that one down. Then I'm gonna peel this backer off. And what I wanna show you that I think is gonna be important is you know how when we made these little guys, if you're not careful, they'll kind of flatten out. Let me show you if I pick this up. See how this will kind of flatten? I don't want it to flatten. I want it to keep that bend, okay? So when I go to put my magnet on, what I have to make sure of is that I lift this up so it'll have a little height to it and then put my magnet down and do the same thing here. I wanna use those gussets to my advantage. So what we're gonna do is close this up like so, keeping our gussets straight here and straight there so that when it closes, it will keep its shape, okay? So this magnet is here and now I can cover this one up. Now, you can cover this magnet if it bothers you. I don't know that I will. Sometimes I do and sometimes I don't. You guys have watched me long enough to know that it doesn't bother me when there's a magnet showing here and there. I mean, I don't think they look bad. They look like part of the process, so they don't bother me. But I'm gonna glue this one here, doing two things, sealing that magnet in and also closing off our raw edges. So get that down really good. And now you'll see this will close over and magnet into place. See, so now we're closed. Now this can glue right in. Let's glue it in. 
All right, we can glue this into our book just like so. You do want to look all the way around and make sure you've got it laid in square. And I do. So then we can just press this into place. I think I'm going to open it up and get back here to the back so we can press just like that. Isn't that cool? Now, you can certainly go back and decorate all the pages and all that if you want to. You can go back in there and add more um, ephemera and things like that. And I might do that. I don't know. What I want to do now is I want to move on to that side over here and install my other piece. It's more going to be like a puzzle. It's more going to be like, it's going to be like a puzzle a little bit. Because one thing is, we designed it a while ago at this point. I designed it, you know, probably for me in real time a week ago. Okay. So, I've got to remember how I did it. But if I remember correctly, this goes here. <laughs> If I remember correctly, then it's going to flip open and then this is going to show or did this go under here? Maybe that went under here. Is that how I wanted to do it? I don't remember y'all. I think that's how I want to do it. So here's what we're going to do. We're going to install this one. You can see I added some photos here. I just went through and added a couple photos or photo there and then a photo on the back. One thing I'll caution you about is when you add your photos, Kind of put this guy in place so you'll know you'll get him in the right orientation. Because if you're not careful, you can get one flipped upside down or something before you glue things in. And now what I want to do is glue this strip to here. So let's add our glue. You certainly can use sticky tape. If if all this wet glue kind of bothers you or you're not sure about it, you can use your, stick, your sticky tape no problem. I'm just going to run that down like that. And what I'm going to do is stick this down. Then I'm going to close this little page and make sure we're in a good spot because I can maneuver it around if I need to. And I kind of want it to be out to the edge because I'm going to be adding that other piece underneath and I want to give plenty of room for it. So that's going to live like that. I can open this up and press this down really well. Isn't that cool? Love it. Okay, let's let that lay open. And now what I want to do is install this guy. And it's going to lay here like so. It's kind of like a puzzle. And then I'll have another, I'll just cut a piece to put underneath it so I can put that one there. I just want to make sure when I install it that I clear this and I don't cover up the score mark on that side. Okay, let's do a test. All right, that looks good. It's hidden everywhere it should be hidden. We've got all our pieces here. Let's get this guy glued in well. Lift this up and rub it down. And now we can put a piece here to hide all our workings. Now, you know, I have these pieces that are scraps left over. I think I'm going to put this one down like this, and then I'm going to put this one down in this corner, kind of covering up that working like so. And then I have this piece that is perfect to journal on, and you never have enough journal spots, right? So I'm going to add that there and then come back in with our ephemera and put some pretties around the edges. So let's do that real quick. We'll just glue that into place. this is placed, I'm going to go back and glue this guy down. This is our beautiful moment sentiment. And I was originally going to put it in this area, like maybe in here, but I think I'm going to bring it over here. I don't want to put anything glued straight to my um, fabric tape. It didn't want to stay as well as I wanted it to. So I'm going to kind of glue to the paper instead. All right, look, we have all of this in here. We can now close this up and see how we're going. So I'll close this one up and that makes everything here fit. Let me bring it into camera for you. So can you see this center section? I'm going to stand it up. And do you see what it does? It just fits in there perfectly. You see that? Perfectly done. And then if we close up our other section and we bring it over, there is plenty of room for that. You see that? It fits in there great. And then, of course, we have this side to close it up. And I told you I didn't think I wanted to do any photos here. I may add some ephemera. I may not. I want to keep this where it will close really well. And plus, we've got all kind of this weight on this side. I do want to do something here. I want to add something between these two. Let me see. I've got, I saw something that gave me an idea. Let's go to that. I kind of like the look of this shutter and then it opening. And I might even add a magnet down here. I don't know if I need it, but I could. So what I'm going to do is glue this in. But because of the whole foam soaking up my glue situation, I'm going to use sticky tape here. And I'm only going to put it on half because I need the other half to kind of float. So let me find the end of my tape. 
and there it is. All right, and let's put the glue or the tape on half of this little shutter piece. All right, and so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna place it where I want it. Yeah, that's gonna stick. That's already sticking. Let's lift that up. Oh, perfect. That's where I want that. So now when this opens, it looks like a shutter. I know it goes in the other direction, but I still think that looks kind of cool. So we've got that there. Do I wanna put a magnet? Let's see. So for this magnet, I went into my own stash. These are my basic gray magnets, my little ones. So I'm gonna use this for there and we'll place that down and then we'll cover it up somehow. All right, so just like we've been doing to place a magnet, what we're gonna do is start on one side. So I'll place it kind of here. Let's see, let's move it down a little bit. And then, can y'all tell I'm not working at my station, I'm working at the other side of the room. So like all my tools are over there. <laughs> That's okay, we make do. All right, so then I can close this up and hopefully it will stick to my foam. I think that it will to my, um, not foam, but my fabric tape and it did. And now if I wanna cover this up, I can. I can put something here to make this really cute. So like, for example, let's grab something I can show you real quick. Like this little guy, if I wanted to put it here or even if I wanted to flip it over, I could do it like that and then add some more pretties. I could let that stick out the bottom if I wanted to. That would be kind of cool. I did it like that on this side and let that bottom kind of hang out. Let me show you, especially if I'm gonna decorate all the way around it. That might be kind of cool and also give you a place to lift it. I think I'm gonna do that. It's a little different. It's a little different, but we'll see how that goes. So let's put the glue here around the magnet. You can even put a little on the magnet if you want. I, I don't cover the magnet, but you can put a little drop up there. I don't like that. And let's bring this guy up. Something like this. I'm gonna close it down so I can see what it's looking like. That was kind of cool and it gives you this kind of little lift point, this little, isn't that neat? I like that. And we're gonna add more around there too. So there's that, so that's all closed up. I'm not gonna add a magnet here. I do not think it needs it. I mean, I could, but I think the way this opens, we're fine. I just didn't want this to be super loose. I think that that will stay that way until you lift it and we'll be okay. So there's that guy. Let's close everything up here and see what we're looking like. Now, I kind of want to work on this cover, and I want to be pretty simple out here. I think it looks good like this, and one of the things I'm kind of concerned about is if I'm going to put this in a bookshelf, and I think that I will, I'm either going to put it in like this, right, like it's a book, so it'll slide in like this, or slide it in like this. So, I hesitate to put anything with any dimension on the front. Um, because I don't want to have it rub off over the years. I almost feel like decorating here is the best place to decorate and maybe leave the rest alone. I know it's hard to know where to decorate and where not to decorate, but I really do feel like only something simple here, almost like a closure looking thing and kind of flat to keep it on there over time. So let me look and see what I've got. So I'm gonna show you my idea before I glue it down. So I love this. See this ribbon? I wanna run this ribbon here. And of course I'll cut it off at the top and cut it at the bottom. Then I wanna do this bow at the top. I think that looks really cute. And look what I found. In the ephemera pack, I found this frame and I think it will look like it's hanging from that ribbon. Isn't that cute? If I do it like this, of course I'll line it all up when I glue it down, but it'll look like that. Then in the um, ephemera, I found this. This says sweet and I think I'll put one there. This one says nothing, but I think I wanna glue it kind of overlapping this little sweet one like that. And then this one says photos do it like that. And then I found a little heart that can go right here. The only other thing I want to do is I want to put something behind this so it'll really pop. So I'm just going to take this guy and glue him down and trim out a piece to go behind it. You see I'm doing this? Like it's so messy. You do not have to be precise. This is going to go away. We are going to glue this behind. You will never see any of that. So I'm going to leave that like that. <laughs> see the shape? I'm going to add glue to the edges. And then I'm gonna place this down, and then we will have a filled in frame to put our little cutesies on. And no one will ever know how messy that looks behind there. Look, no one will ever know. You could use the floral side, and the reason I didn't have the floral side up is because that's what I had here, and I really wanted this to pop more like that. Isn't that cute? I love this. Okay, let's glue this down. All right, so I'm gonna turn this so I can get to it. I'm gonna put this about here. I gotta line it up to the center, not quite there come over a little bit. There we go. I can edit a tiny bit here and there. I will cut off this free edge down here, but I've got that lined up all the way to the top. 
and I could put the bow really close to the top. That would be pretty, but I kind of liked it a little down. Also, on these ribbon pieces and stuff, make sure you're getting glue all out to the tails and everything. You want these to really be glued down because you have a better chance of them not getting picked up over the years, you know, pulling it in and out of a bookshelf and things like that when you have them all glued down. All right, let's flip this up and let's go ahead and cut this. Perfect. Look how good that looks. It looks like custom ribbon down there. All right, let's put this guy down. And again, you could pop him up, which would be cute, but I'm not because I don't want to take a chance of him coming off. Instead, I'm going to glue him down really well. And then those pieces I'm adding on top are chipboard. So they will give the dimension that I'll need. I won't need to add dimension here or I'll be afraid this would pop off. Now our little discs. That's what I'm doing to the front. And to be honest, I don't think I'm going to add anything to the sides. I'm still learning this fabric tape, and I don't want to put a bunch of my ephemera on and have it not stay very well. And I really like how clean and enclosed this is. That's kind of the point of this album. So I'm going to leave this simple like this. Now what I'm going to do is go to the inside, and I'm going to add ephemera where I want it. Okay, so we're just going to film that, let you watch the process with a little music, and then we'll do a walkthrough at the end. All right, guys, there it is. She is done and we will flip through now. So we will open the top and I'm going to have it sitting like this for you to see first. When we open these flaps, you see that it takes us to the center. Again, I did not put anything here. I actually got to thinking here and here are great journaling spots. And if I don't add any paper here, I just write on it. It doesn't add any thickness, right? We're okay on thickness, but this one's getting a little big and I'll show you why. Cause I did, I just went crazy and I didn't really didn't really care about it. I just did it to see if it would fit, right? So here is our first insert that we did, and it opens like this. It opens again inside, okay, and then it opens again here, all right? It also, I'm going to slide this up. There's so much in here. It also opens here and here and here, right? So we have lots and lots of photos, 
lots of memories all in that one little folio right there, which by the way, could be a folio all by itself, right? Then let's go over here to this side and you'll see that this one opens. Do you not love these little paper clips? They're so cute, they add such bling. So there's this one and it opens like this and I'll show you what I did on the back. You can see here, I just added some ephemera and then inside here, I added little ephemeras here and there. I did cover the magnet with just a single um, flower and that worked really well. And then this opens again, do you see this? And it opens again. So you have so much room to put photos, to put things, and it holds so much. Then our last little section here is our waterfall. I just think this is beautiful. I love how this is the magnet. It opens like this. And then you can see I added a ticket on top of the magnet on the inside with an arrow. And then all of this has now been decorated as well. And I added some chipboard pieces as well as not chipboard pieces. So that's why it added some thickness. Like that's chipboard. This is chipboard. So there is some inside of there that kind of thickened it up. And then, of course, this piece goes just like this. Um, that is our album. It's a lot. I got a lot in here. Like this is our trip all encapsulated in one beautiful little album and I love this. This will be so pretty standing, like standing on the bookshelf for you to look at. I just love how this turned out. I actually love this. I wasn't sure about how I was going to do the front, but I really love how that turned out. All right, guys, you know the deal. First off, I'm going to ask you if you enjoyed this video to give it a thumbs up. Secondly, help me reach my 400,000 subscriber goal for 2022. Simply by hitting that red button, it's free. It just lets YouTube know you want to see my videos when I post them. And if you want to get notification when I post videos, click the little button, I mean the little bell beside the subscribe button, and you can set how you want to get notifications. If you make one of these or a folio or any portion of this, I want to see it. Head to my customer gallery at maymaymadeit.com and share with me your photos and what you're making. We love to get more inspiration from you guys. There's over 2,000 posts there, so you can get a lot of inspiration if you're looking for it. Thanks so much for being with me on this journey. We did it in two parts. I'm pretty proud of that. All right, guys, until next time, bye now.